the process of onboarding helps an organization to demonstrate its missions and values. The new joiners are provided with training, knowledge and resources to succeed in their new position. Onboarding will also show them how they can be part of the community and add their personal touch to their work environment so they can feel more connected. Today we are going to speak with Nathanael Costa. Eleven years ago he started working at the Academy Reception of PwC. Ever since he worked at the HC Front Desk to schedule interviews, was part of the campus team organizing events and recruited interns. Nowadays he is part of PeopleShare and is still an active member of the onboarding team. Hi Nathanael, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm very well, thank you. What about yourself? Very good. I mean, it's first day, so I can see the weekend. All good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a bit of sunshine, and uh, it was nice to have this morning. Even it's gone now, but uh, it, it is gone because <laughs> now it's grey and cloudy, and it's like a real first day afternoon in January in Luxembourg. But at least we had a bit of sunshine, so that's nice to have, right? Yeah, a little bit of good mood in yes. today. Uh, so we invited you to talk about the onboarding of our new joiners. Do you still remember your onboarding 11 years ago? Well, um, yes, I must say 11 years ago went very quick. Uh, and I do actually remember, uh, I was actually showed to a room mm -hmm. where we received a lot of uh, information, key information. Uh, the session lasted for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, and I met my team right afterwards. Wow. So it was quite quick um, and, and, and short, I should say. Well, let's call it efficient. It was. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you feel like onboarding was an important part of your integration at PwC and made you feel more welcomed? Yes, it was. Uh, as I was walking into a structure such as PwC, uh, it was the first big renowned audit company I started working at. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of expectations and stuff. So uh, yeah, it was very useful. I remember when I started working, I had no expectations because I had no idea what the big four was actually doing. <laughs> but I was overwhelmed with all the abbreviations we use here. Lock, yes. BU, CLT. Mm. And you know, I gave the onboarding presentation this Monday to mm -hmm. all the new joiners. And I was like, no worries if you don't get all the abbreviations. It took me like six months to figure out what C CLT stands for. So you're all good. I'm no still worries. figuring some out, so don't worry. <laughs> True. <laughs> They're changing all the time. <laughs> Um, so, what are the biggest changes you perceived that were made to the onboarding process in comparison to 11 years ago? Well, uh, I've been giving uh, onboarding sessions for quite some time now, mm -hmm. and um, you receive a lot of information about the tools, the building facilities, but also the benefits that you have uh, access to when you start working at mm -hmm. PwC. Uh, and we have fun now, which is quite good, <laughs> and you get to know the new colleagues on the first day. Um, like, you know, we, we, we have... Uh, Uh, sessions where you can exchange with people who are starting mm -hmm. on the same day and then you can create um, a friendship and, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's something that's really important for something for someone who, who just came into the, mm -hmm. the company, into the, into the country even, who doesn't know anyone, uh, for example, and uh, you, you, you might create colleagues that will be with you mm -hmm. for, for a long time to come. Yeah, I think that's very much true. And also for listeners out there, we just revamped the entire process. So uh, the launch of the new onboarding program, Welcome Day, was this Monday, actually. Yes. And why do you think it is so important that we have a dedicated process for juniors, and but also for experienced employees? Well, I think it's important because both... Uh, will have a different expectation from mm -hmm. a first day. Uh, if you are a newbie, like let's say you, you start, it's your first job, you have different um, expectations that someone who would be here, who has been working for about mm. 20 years or 15 or 10 or even five has. Mm. So I think it's good to separate, separate them. Mm. Uh, but I think it would be nice to have them get together at some point mm. uh, on the same day because they started on the first day together. Uh, and it's something that you will remember forever. Uh, you will always remember this person started with me uh, and, and so on. So I think uh, it, it's good to have a dedicated, mm. uh, but it would also be good to have something in common. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's pretty much true. Because I remember when I started, it was COVID period. So we all had masks on. I didn't recognize anyone. And I was in a room full with the auditors because I did the big go on the 1st of October. Okay. And I was so impressed by everyone wearing suits that I don't remember any names. <laughs> I okay. just remember faces and maybe some haircuts. That's about it. <laughs> and the suits, maybe. <laughs> and the su they were all black with white shirts. So okay, okay. not that impressive. Um, 
So as I said, we revamped the entire onboarding process. And why do you think this was necessary? Because the process we had before that was already quite good. And what were the most important changes we made? I think we wanted to make sure they had the important information given, mm -hmm. but with a different approach. Um, and giving it a whole day is a lot better than uh, finish and doing it in, in a half a day. Mm. And uh, we've implemented many things that uh, are quite fun, as mm. I said, and we love to have fun at PwC. Um, and we finish it with a drink. Oh, nice. Uh, and it went very well uh, last Monday. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something that we didn't used to do. Mm. Uh, and I think it's something that, you know, people will even get closer uh, mm. after such a day where you have a lot of information mm. given, uh, but you also have fun. Mm. Uh, so uh, it's not only information, 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 you know. Yeah, we just uh, created some dedicated time for them to get to know each other instead exactly. of just yeah. running from one session to another. Yes. In making all about us as a company, putting our branding on them for the first day. Exactly. And talking about our culture, like yeah, in, 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 if you do it with games, you know, Uh, it's different than just laying it out on a on a slide and speaking about it, you know. Yeah, and maybe also speaking from personal experience. Exactly. Yeah. As I came here as a trainee, so I know exactly what it feels like being lost. The first yeah. big experience <laughs> in a company, starting here, knowing no one. Yeah, it's true. Nothing, nothing was clear to me at the beginning. So, uh, I think also for them that's a big part of the onboarding, just to feel like we all went through this. Exactly. And that you understand the struggles they're facing. Yeah, really important to feel like uh, everyone else, you know, like uh, mm. you're not the only one and everyone needs everyone else. And that, uh, yeah, we're all going to have questions, but, you know, I'm not the only one asking questions. Everyone can mm. ask questions and so on. Yeah. Creating the sense that there's the community behind it. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, that, that, you, that, that uh, b belonging, you know, of, uh, of a group starting together. That's why I said it's important to, to do things together. Mm. And why do you like being part of the onboarding team so much? Uh, this is a tricky question. Well, I like to have different experiences. Mm -hmm. I love meeting people. I love communicating yeah. uh, in different languages. Mm -hmm. um, and the return you get from people uh, is uh, direct. Um, and you see that people are happy with the information you're giving mm. and you see the reaction. Uh, yeah, I like to, to exchange, you know, and uh, meet new people, as I said, from different horizons. You mm -hmm. know, culture is something that I really like. And um, we employ many people from all around the mm. world and you get to meet them and, and speak to them and exchange. So, uh, yeah, it's a big exchange moment for me. Uh, that's why I like doing the onboarding uh, sessions. I get that. For me, it's more about meeting the people I actually recruited. <laughs> But I see them on like camera twice for the interview and then to yes. make the offer. I follow them all throughout the process, even for those who have the work permit, being there to answer questions about Luxembourg, but I actually never see them face to face. Yeah. So it's just so nice seeing them on their first day. They are so proud to be here, to be part of PwC. And I love just sharing that moment with them and seeing how they start their journey. Yeah, yeah. And the excitement they share with us actually excites me again to get back to work afterwards. Ah, cool. That, that's, that's a good insight. What is a piece of advice? that you would like to give a future new joiner listening to this episode? I would like to tell them to listen carefully. <laughs> <laughs> good point, good <laughs> point. Because we give a lot of information that they will carry throughout their mm -hmm. years and career at PwC and even uh, for their life. Mm. Um, and do not hesitate to ask questions. I always say when I'm doing the onboarding sessions, ask questions, you know, everyone has a question at some time. Uh, you can't know all the answers yeah uh, <laughs> and uh, it's a new building it's a new True. faces new country uh, yeah. everything's new mm. so of course you have questions don't hesitate to ask them and we'll be more than happy to help you out and never be afraid to approach anyone no they're no nice I promise <laughs> even if we're from HR we're nice yes we are very nice at HR yes well thank you so much Natalia for joining us today it was a pleasure that's it for today's episode and if you don't want to miss out on our upcoming stories hit subscribe and feel free to share Let us know what you think. Thank you for listening and see you for the next episode of Casual Side.